Hey guys, James Campbell here at Dynamic Strike, and I'm here with Kyle Kraft Bogniak. He's a UFC veteran, fighter of the night bonuses, really exciting fighter, and he's going to show you some techniques from his video coming up. We've been going over it. I've learned a lot from it, guys, and um, one of his favorite techniques is really unique, and uh, I'm going to let you talk about it, Kyle. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, it's an honor to be here, guys, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways to close the range. Um, usually, I'm the smaller guy, so I'm fighting taller guys. I have to use a lot of head movement. Trigger, triggers and feints, slide and bite down and close that distance. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it and show you one of my favorite techniques. Oh, I like to close the range. This is one of my uh, favorites. Like I said, usually I'm a small guy fighting taller guys. So I have a unique style with head movement to close that range. So the first thing I'm going to do is establish my range. So what I want to do is creep my feet in and I like to occupy the guy's guard, right? So what I might do is stretch my stance and shrink, right? Stretch and shrink. Now that I'm in range here, what I'm gonna do is um, trigger an action. So I'm gonna make an action, anticipate his reaction, right? And then I'm gonna close the distance. So when I go like this, it's gonna be jab, long step jab. I'm gonna slip out. I'm gonna go push step. One, two, three. I'm gonna grab this clinch. Knee, okay? So once I close the range and get into the clinch position, we have a couple of different options here. So what we're gonna do, I find my range, I get in, creep, creep, creep. I'm gonna trigger an action, right? So I'm just gonna snap jab. He's gonna throw that jab, I'm gonna slide out, push step, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna go into my clinch. And from here, guys, if I feel like I have the advantage on the feet or in the clinch, I'm gonna stay in the clinch and get dirty. I might go to a knee, knee the head, I'm gonna let go, elbow, right? If I feel like I don't have the advantage of the feet, there's a discrepancy there and experience, I'm gonna take the fight to the mat. Same combo, same setup, guys. I need a bite down, I need to uh, make an action, anticipate his reaction. I'm gonna trigger, he goes, I slide, step up, one, two, three, get my clinch, bang. I might take the fight to the mat here, so what I'm gonna do is level change. He anticipates the knee comes, he pump, looks up, I got my double, I drive, Take the fight to the mat, okay? Option three, same thing. He might back eye range, say he, he breaks, he gets out. I'm gonna catch him on the exit with a kick. Or I might just wanna switch things up. We go from a clinch range, I might push him out. I'm gonna catch him on the exit. Same setup, three different ways to finish. Find my range, extend, shrink. Extend, shrink, I'm here. Good head movement, I cause an action, anticipate his reaction, I'm gonna slip to the outside, bop, slip. One, two, three, clinch on, knee. He might break out, I might push him out, I'm gonna catch him on the exit, boom. Okay, so one more time, guys. The, the basis here is finding my range, making an action, anticipating his reaction, getting off line, my head's not on that center line, and I gotta bite down and go. Okay, so it's here, in range, creep, extend, creep, extend, occupy, snap jab, step off, one, two, three, clinch, knee, get dirty, or level change to a double, or catch him on the exit. Boom. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's technique. Got a whole program coming up. Stay tuned. Guys, go get this film, dynamicstriking.com. I'm excited. More content to come from Kyle. Thanks, guys.